Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of daily origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue looking at some traditional origami and we're going to look at some of the many different ways that you can fold a letter or um, an envelope. Uh, today the uh, special kind of dimensions for this project are more rectangular. Um, ideally you could use uh, just standard um, US letter paper, A4, uh, B5, all those would work probably really good. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and use my paper and take off like a fourth of one of the sides. So it's going to be 15 by 11. Quick math, why can't I think of what the number is there? 15 times 7, 5. Yeah, 11.25 centimeters. <laughs> and um, you just need one piece of paper. Uh, the beginning is a little untraditional, but after that there's no scissors or glue involved. So, um, And it's nice because you don't need to have to use, necessarily have origami paper to do this. So I'm going to start off, like I said, by just taking a little bit of my square paper off so that this folds a little nicer. I'm just going to go ahead and fold my paper in half and just mark with a little pinch where the center is and fold into those marks and then just cut off this edge. And that'll give me a little bit more of a rectangular shape. Now, you could really go rectangular though for this and it'll still work just fine. So, um, I'll show you guys here. I've got my paper cut off there. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and start here with your color side facing down and I'm just gonna fold my paper in half so that I can get a nice center line marked there. Then I could take the top and fold down, bringing that top edge even with the center. And I'm going to do the opposite thing on this side. So you can just rotate it 180 degrees and do the same thing over here. Get that crease going. Then we're going to kind of turn things sideways and take the outer edge here and fold into that other side. Turn it around, do the same thing over here too. Make sure things are kind of looking long ways like this so we can kind of see how everything's been folded over. Now I want to take the bottom right side and fold it up so that everything here along this top right edge keeps even and we can kind of make sure everything lines up good there. Get a good crease there. Turn it around and do the same thing going the other way too. Now depending on the dimensions of your paper, you might find that this center part might be a little bigger, there might be a little bit more to see there in the middle, but um, that should give you kind of the resulting piece there. Now the way that it becomes an envelope is that you can go ahead and uh, put your letter right in here underneath these tabs and then you use these little points here to tuck into the sides so that you can kind of secure it off. And that gives you just a really quick and easy envelope um, with a little bit of a peek to see through to the other side. So uh, kind of a cute, fun way to make your own envelope for a quick kind of project. Uh, with the dimensions of paper that I used, my um, envelope wound up being about eight centimeters by 5.3. So about eight centimeters by 5.3. Um, and that just sort of gives you an idea of the finished product there with this little envelope design. Um, lots of variations and fun ways you can use this for sure. You could obviously write your letter on the inside of this and then fold everything up too. And then you don't need to insert anything at all. So uh, that gives you our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.